Pleasure to see you. What does Rishi have that Liz doesn't? Hi, Gloria. Um, well, I think many things. It's a clear choice, in my view. As you said, you got 20% more votes amongst MPs than Liz did. Um, now it goes to members, and we want that kind of strong mandate from members. I think he's got the intellect, he's got the character, and he's, and he's incredibly articulate. It's a communications business, it's politics, and he can explain you know, what we're going to do about the economy. We're going to grow the economy, and then we can cut taxes how we're going to make the best of Brexit. And most importantly, because you can't, as you know, Gloria, you can't do anything in politics unless you're in power. How are we in the next election? And poll after poll shows that Rishi's in a much better place in terms of likelihood of winning the next election. We have a cost of living crisis. Everybody knows that. Uh, Rishi Sunak is one of the richest, probably the richest politicians in the House of Commons. How do you counter the suggestions that he's simply too rich to understand the struggles that ordinary families are going through right now? Well, to me, rich or poor shouldn't matter in terms of your background. It should be about who you are and what, what, what policies you adopt. I've seen Rishi with his constituents of all kind of different ilks, all kind of different backgrounds. He's brilliant with all of them. You know, he really is somebody who gets under the skin of, of people's issues and can help to solve them. And just look what he's done in terms of what he did through the pandemic, in terms of the support he gave businesses and supporting jobs, people through that crisis. And now what he's done for the cost of living crisis, target, giving £1,200 for all our, in, our households with the lowest incomes. That really will help them through this very difficult a few months and, and a year or so at least. I think that inflation crisis will continue. So he does understand the issues at grassroots level. But most importantly, he's got the intellect and the expertise and the ideas to solve those problems. I don't know if you've seen the Daily Mail today. Uh, it seems to be in full support Liz mode. Do you think it matters what newspapers say in a campaign? Does it make a difference to the chances of the candidates in this election? Of course. Of course it does. Because people read newspapers and they listen to programmes like yours, Gloria, and of course people are influenced by that. But my, my, I urge members to look at the facts and look at, I mean, I saw a poll in the Times today where 92% of, I mean, it's one of these online polls, they're not totally reliable, 92% of people who fill that form in thought Rishi was the best Prime Minister. So the, there'll be different perspectives on this, of course. But to me, look at the rational facts, uh, you know, of course, you know, Rishi's had to put up taxes to deal with the current crisis because we want to we want to be a party that cuts taxes. And of course, that's popular amongst people. We're also a party uh, balancing the books. And he knows he's had to set the tough decisions in terms of balancing the books for all the money we've had to spend over the recent over recent years. But once we get over this and the economy's back on track, Rishi wants to cut taxes. He'll set that out very clearly. I just urge members to look at the facts, look at the look at the uh, track record people have had in their jobs. Rishi has been in the toughest job in the Parliament, apart from the Prime Minister, in the last couple of years, and I think done a sterling job.